Nelson is a very wise person, uh, an experienced person, and I often go to him for counsel in the sense of putting him on some of the important committees associated with my institute, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, as well as the NIH in general. Nelson Michael has leadership qualities, organizational skills, dedication and persistence, and a, and a serious amount of courage in a time of difficulty. And he has any smart. Well, I, I, I think Colonel Michaels uh, embodies and personifies really what has been a great national treasure for us, and that is the, the attraction uh, in the uniform and the retention of some of the, the most uh, scholarly and intellectually uh, exciting um, scientists and clinicians uh, uh, that the nation can offer. He's extremely intelligent. Uh, has a degree of creativity which is extraordinary but also a degree of pragmatism into it. He really gets the job done and I think that was very important in the intellectual input that went into the RV144 trial at the same time as the pragmatic capability of getting something of this magnitude implemented and he played major roles in both ends of that spectrum. So, well, he collaborates with a lot of groups, but it's a high quality, once again, well-organized, um, thorough studies uh, that uh, tends to not miss a beat. And, he, and if he misses a beat, he, he'll find a way to collaborate and, and be able to support in some way or another such a collaboration or get involved collaboratively and be able to find some support for it. You see this in, in Nelson, a passion for what they do, um, an almost uh, irrepressible desire to educate and, uh, and, uh, and inform uh, anyone who wants to hear about what they do. Uh, and, and that excitement is infectious itself. Um, it it uh, requires a team, a team that will work uh, together uh, within the, the labs and the, and the organization that, uh, that Colonel Michaels is a member of, but also uh, uh, freely uh, shares information across uh, agencies and institutions, uh, uh, develops uh, collegial relationships uh, wherever they can build them with one goal, and that is to protect the forest. He's a very serious person when it comes to science. He's got one of the most incredible sense of humor that I know, and everybody, he's known for that. That's his trademark. Uh, but when you're dealing with him about important issues, uh, he's serious, he's well prepared, he's highly intelligent, and he's incredibly reliable. I mean, you can, you can take it to the bank with him. I mean, he definitely is a, one of the most reliable people you could ever imagine. In short, smart and thinking, and not going to be satisfied, and would probably argue his way through with, with any decision makers who don't give him some flexibility for that kind of creative, more creative work. Nelson represents, and others of his ilk, uh, a, 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 a quadruple threat of sorts. They are scholars, uh, they are uh, uh, researchers, uh, they are clinicians who understand at the bedside and in the field what the real uh, threats and needs are, and they are leaders. Nelson is uh, uh, one of a unique generation of quadruple threats as we call it uh, affectionately, that can do it all. Nelson, it's been an absolute blast working with you over these many, many years. It's both intellectually extremely stimulating, but most of all, it's been a lot of fun. And I look forward to many more years of working with you on a lot of projects, particularly getting an HIV AIDS vaccine. I think this, I, I, I hope and believe, will uh, be a big aid for you to continue to do just what you've been doing and to be Nelson Michael. Nelson, congratulations uh, on receipt of this uh, prestigious award uh, and a recognition that uh, it, it represents. To you and your very talented team, we thank you for protecting us, uh, the soldiers, sailors, airmen, marine, and coast guardsmen, and through us, uh, the global human family. Thank you and congratulations.